Alrighty, everybody, what's up? Thank you very much for tuning in. Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, we are going to be playing today. And for those of you wondering what console I play on, before I get into it, might as well just say it and get it out of the way. I play on a Nintendo Switch. I'm like, to be honest, why would you not play on a Nintendo Switch? I just recently got a Nintendo Switch a couple days ago. Um, actually, two days ago, before we started playing this. I did do a stream on Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy yesterday. However, today is going to be a brand new stream. I'm going to be restarting the whole game in a different style, in a different way, and the reason being is you'll see in just a bit. Um, but like I was saying, why would you not play on a Switch? You can actually play Crash Bandicoot out on the go. You're not forced to play it on a PS4, and you're not forced to play it on an Xbox. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into this. So, what's going to be going on today is I'm going to be doing every single level as quickly as possible. Crash Bandicoot. As you guys can see, Crash Bandicoot 1 Crash Bandicoot 2 Crash Cortex Bandicoot Strikes two. Back, and then Crash, Crash Bandicoot, Bandicoot 3 War. War. Now, I'm going to be doing um, a new game on Crash Bandicoot, which is the original, and I'm going to be doing this a little bit differently. How we're going to be doing this this time is I'm going to get through every single level, because I kind of forgot how the game went in the beginning, um, when it comes to gems, when it comes to relics, aka keys, and uh, basically I'm going to get through every single level as quickly as possible. And then later on, we're going to start accomplishing and completing our percentage into 100% by getting those gems and by getting those relics. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into Crash Bandicoot, starting a new game. We'll overwrite the auto slave shot. Uh, let's go ahead and overwrite save because that's exactly what I plan on doing today. So... In this stream, we're going to be getting through the levels a lot quicker. It's just basically an overview, an overrun on um, what each and every single level is going to look like. Get through it, and then we'll go ahead and start doing some time trials for the relics of the keys, and then we'll go ahead and start doing some runs for the gems as well. But without further ado, let's go ahead and enjoy the cinematic. To world domination. This time, I shall reign triumphant. We are closer than ever before. Quickly! For those of you subscribing to me today, much appreciated if you're tuning in. Dr. Cortex, the Vortex is not ready. We have no idea what it could do. Go ahead and turn this up just a bit. Bring back chat on the phone. Failure again. <laughs> Capture him! Prepare the female bandicoot. We gotta save her, fam. That's the main point of this whole entire game, if you're wondering. Alright, collect three. Oh, so Insanity Beach. Here we go. This is level one, by the way. Now, one thing that I did realize from uh, playing yesterday. Analog stick for a Nintendo Switch is absolute trash. It is not good to use, especially in a game like this when you do need to move left, right, forward, backwards easily. Uh, when it comes to the analog stick, yes, you can spin around very easily, and I've noticed that it does move a lot slower. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. So I'm going to go ahead and collect everything that I can, but I'm not going to go out of my way to collect things. So uh, just bear with me here. And I wanted to learn something. There was something I'm just trying to learn. I can't figure it out quite yet. Is how to slide. Right, so I can spin, I can jump, I can bring, I can toggle my uh, my UI. But there was an, it was either R2. Yeah, I can't figure out how to slide to save my life. But anyways, let's go ahead and get back into this. D-pad for life. Oh, D-pad all day, every day. I'm a D-pad fan in most games anyways myself. Thank you very much for tuning in, my G. But for those of you tuning in, I did most of these levels yesterday. I'm just going to go ahead and get through these as quickly as possible. Because I kind of forgot how the game worked. Again, I haven't played in 15 years. And I kind of forgot how the fact that you have to get gems and you have to actually unlock most of the levels from the past to go ahead and do this, so a lot different than a normal game 
you come back to do things in this game. But D-pad all day, every day. I'm, I'm a huge fan of the D-pad. Analog, I'm just not a fan of it. Levels for days. Apples for days. And once you get a uh, 100 apples, for those of you wondering, uh, you get an actual extra life. But I have none anyway, so it doesn't even matter. It's a joke, bro. It's a joke. See? For check mark, for checkpoint. And now we're about to go ahead and activate the Haku Mask of Justice. Let's do this. You can do whatever the hell you want when you have this mask on. You can hit anything. You don't have to go ahead and farm the apples. They farm for you. Uh-oh. I jumped too early. See? That's what happens when you jump too early and get a little bit too cray. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, activate that again. Sorry about that. Failing on level 1, boy. I'm, I'm hugely failing on level 1 now. You gotta get used to the depth perception in this game. It's not normal. It's not normal. Give me my banana. Or my apple, sorry. But again, for those of you tuning in, I will most likely read chat during or in between each level. So bear with me. And also, for those of you wondering, I was trying to show you that. Um, watch. Once you have apples and you go ahead and spin, you won't collect them. Most of the time. Like, what? Okay. See if I can get these ones. I'm trying to show you guys something. Alright, well, never mind. Most of the times, if you spin when you get the apples, you won't be able to do it. Also, let me go ahead and show you guys this path first. I'm not going to be doing this path on this level because my goal is not to get collect all the uh, all the crates. But as you guys can see, there is... I'm actually just going to go kill myself. There is this here. It's a little check part. It's a little bit, a little bit of a... It's like a... It's a hardened box with an exclamation point in it. And that goes ahead and activates a little bonus, which is going to be these crates here. And your goal on these crates is to go ahead and jump and hit every single one, except I missed two, as you guys can see. It is not as easy as it looks. All right, go away. It is not as easy as it looks. And in this other path here has two boxes over here. And then on the other side of this, it's another one of those turtles that uh, travels back and forth, as you guys can see right there. And I'm not even gonna bother with it. So let's go ahead and finish this level. Very easy level. Again, it is level one. And uh, the ghost box over here is basically what will give you the gem or the white gem. As you guys know, I'm missing two crates. I got 47 out of the 49, which are the two crates that I just missed uh, by doing the jumping tactics. But again, gems, relics, AKA keys for those of you guys that some know about that. I'm not gonna bother with that just yet. Just gonna get through every single level, unlock every single level, and then we'll come back and get ahead and do some boxes for the gems and go ahead and do some uh, speed runs for the relics. 